This question examines your ability to identify different types of intermolecular forces. Reading the question, we find that the compounds Br2 and ICl have the same number of electrons. If you look at the periodic table, you'll find that Br2 is 35 plus 35, which equals 70, and ICl is 53 plus 17, which is also 70. Yet ICl both melts and boils at temperatures above the corresponding ones for Br2. We're asked to explain why. Essentially, we need to explain why ICL has stronger intermolecular forces than Br2. In planning your answer, consider first the types of species we're dealing with. There are no ions involved, so we only have to consider the three types of van der Waals forces for each of ICL and Br2. Dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces, and hydrogen bonding. With this framework in mind, we can solve the problem. All compounds experience dispersion forces, the attraction between an instantaneous and an induced dipole, and ICL and Br2 are no exceptions. The forces they experience will be about the same because they have the same number of electrons. We can address the hydrogen bonding easily for these two compounds, since not only do neither of them have a hydrogen atom bonded to an electronegative element, neither of them even have a hydrogen atom. So no hydrogen bonding for either of these compounds. That leaves dipole-dipole forces, which come about when a molecule is polar. In other words, when there's an electronegativity difference between one end of the molecule and the other. Br2 is just two of the same atom bonded together. It must have evenly distributed electron density, and so has no dipole-dipole interactions. ICL, on the other hand, contains one chlorine and one iodine atom. Chlorine is more electronegative than iodine, so it draws electron density from the iodine atom, leaving it with a slight partial positive charge, and chlorine with a slight partial negative charge. These partial charges will generate attractive dipole-dipole interactions between adjacent molecules, thus increasing the melting and boiling point of ICL. We can summarize these points by stating that the molecules have similar dispersion forces, but ICL must overcome a dipole-dipole interaction, therefore more heat is required to melt or boil it. Check your answer. It explains both the increase in melting and boiling point because both of these properties are affected by the strength of intermolecular forces. We're done.